World Championship Boxing. This bout is sanctioned by the WBC, the WBA, and the IBF, and by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, Elias Ghanem, Chairman. The commissioners at ringside this evening are Dr. James Nave, Dwayne Ford, Freddie Little, and Jay Nady. The executive director is Chuck Minker. This fight sanctioned by the WBC, Jose Suleiman, President, the supervisor, James Nave. By the International Boxing Federation, Bobby Lee, President, Al Goodman, Supervisor, and by the WBA, President Gilberto Mendoza, and the supervisors are Dr. James Nave and Santiago Chicas. The officials are signed by the governing bodies for the next bout of the evening. The judges are Jerry Roth of Las Vegas, Omar Mintun of Mexico, Rodolfo Maldonado of Panama. The timekeeper is Mike Lachella, counting at the knockdowns, Mike Morabito. The attending physicians at ringside, Drs. Flip Pomansky, Donald Romeo, and James Game. And your referee is Richard Steele. This is the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing, in the blue corner, fighting out of London, England, weighing in at 228 pounds, or 16 stone, four pounds, with a professional record of 32 wins, two defeats, with 31 KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, he is rated number world in the world by the WBC. He is the challenger, Frank Bruno. And in the red corner, from Catskill, New York, Weighing 15 stone, 8 pounds, or 218 pounds, he is undefeated in his professional career. 35 wins, 31 KOs. He is the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. All right, they get called to the center of the ring. Let's listen to Richard Steele. Steel. Obey instructions in the dress room. I'm cautioning you again. Obey my commands at all times. Is there any questions? Shake hands. Good luck. There's the stair. We're just about set to go. The undisputed heavyweight championship of the world on the line. Mike is giving away three and a half inches in height. He's giving away 10 pounds in weight. He's five years younger, and he's giving up 11 inches in reach. Some say he has the same disadvantage as a lion going against the zebra. And I'd have to agree. Let's see how quick he starts. Bruno tries to keep him off. Bruno's showing that he's not afraid. Hanging on. Bruno's already tagged with the right hand. And there goes Bruno for the first time in the fight. The first right hand that caught him, he went down. He'll have to take the standing eight count. Bruno's clear, but he knows the power of Mike Tyson. Tyson, if ever there was a guy fighting like a raging bull, it's Mike Tyson. Bruno has all the pride of England standing for him. He gets tagged again by a right hand. He's trying to hang on to Mike and hit. Mike is just looking for an opportunity to cut loose, and Richard Steele warns Frank Bruno about hanging on and hitting Mike Tyson. Tyson pummels him with the right hand. Mike trying to set him up with the left hand. Bruno looks a little wobbly already. Right hand misses Frank Bruno. Bruno has come to try and mix it up. He's hanging on to the head of Tyson. Tyson not affected by any of these blows at all. Tyson just looking to set his man up. He's back in the assault. He tries to reach him inside with a short, crisp shot. Bruno ties him up inside. Again, Richard Steele warns Frank Bruno about hanging on and hitting. Bruno's already been down in round number one. Tyson hit with a light left hand. Doesn't do anything to him. Tyson back up bouncing. And all the questions about distractions have been answered as Tyson attacks. Bruno doing everything he can to try to attack this guy. Don't forget, he's from a very rough area in London. And to be honest with you, a lot of people are thrilled to see this guy making some sort of fight of it. Blood is really coming from the no uh, nose of Frank Bruno. And you can see that there's been a point taken away. I don't think points will mean anything by the time this fight's over. 
but Frank Bruno is trying to make a fight of it. He's hanging on, but Tyson is certainly getting the best of it. He's bleeding from the nose. He was down in the very early seconds as Tyson nails him with the uppercut. Now Frank comes very slowly across the ring. He knows he's in with the ball. Tyson gets nailed with a left hook. Tyson looks wobbly as he attacks Bruno. Bruno continues to throw. Tyson was caught and wobbled. Tyson looks clear, but he was caught by a shot by Frank Bruno. Tyson trying to fight back, and Bruno did catch him with a shot. That's the first time I've seen anything like Tyson staggered. Tyson was definitely sent back in his tracks there. Inside of 20 seconds to go in the round, Bruno has got him tied up. Mike Tyson doesn't seem to have that fiery look in his eyes right now as he lunges for the challenger. Inside of 10 seconds to go, as you see. The bell ends, round number one, and the crowd loves it. So Bruno went down, but not hurt, and Bruno tagged Tyson and did hurt him.